This is the first time a police officer had ever been charged in a police shooting here in Minnesota. And after that not guilty verdict came down, a large crowd came here to the state capitol to protest, then marched through the streets, eventually ending on a freeway where 18 people were arrested as officers worked to disperse the crowd. Overnight, protesters shut down the freeway in St. Paul after marching by the thousands from Minnesota's state capitol, protesting what they see as injustice. Police officer Geronimo Yanez found not guilty of manslaughter Friday in the shooting death of Philando Castile. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. Castile was shot five times during a traffic stop for a broken taillight last summer. His girlfriend broadcasting the aftermath live to Facebook. Ten white and two black jurors spent four days deliberating. New this morning, we're hearing from one of those jurors on the decision to acquit the officer. We feel so much pain for the family, especially when the verdict was said out loud. We all just kind of sunk in our, our, but we had to do what we had to do. The juror said the law favored Officer Yanez, who took the stand in his own defense, saying, I was scared to death and I thought I would die. Yanez said Castile matched the description of a robbery suspect, that he smelled like pot and saw Castile reach for a gun. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand off it. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Prosecutors argued Castile had a permit, warned the officer he had a firearm, and that the officer overreacted. Castile's family is outraged by the verdict. My son loved this city, and this city killed my son, and the murderer gets away. The officer's attorney says he is still very shook up, but extremely happy it's no over. Even though Officer Yanez has been found not guilty, he is being let go from his job as a police officer. The city of St. Anthony saying uh, that they will enter into a voluntary separation agreement with the officer, help him transition into a new career, but they say the public would be best served if he's no longer an officer with that city. Mm -hmm. Craig? Blake McCoy for us this morning there in St. Paul. Blake, thanks.